just one button and you get unlimited gems. Probably fake. Hello everyone, it's me, Game Jacker from HackerBad.net, and today we're going to be discussing alternatives to Game Guardian. Of course, the number one game jacking app on Android for your Android games. But let's be honest, it's pretty difficult to use. It's a memory editor. It's definitely not user friendly. So if you're new to cheating, you might have trouble following the in-depth guides and tutorials and you need a rooted device and you need to scan for values and it takes a lot of processing power. It's a whole thing. So what alternatives are there? First off, there's nothing that Game Guardian can do that mods cannot do. So modded APKs are the number one alternative to Game Guardian. Okay, they do the same thing. The, most of them will still require a root, but some of them can be used without a root. But they are much easier to use. All you need to do with mods is simply install them correctly and they will work if they're up to date. So how do you find legitimate mods? Um, if you've ever used the internet, there are a lot of scams out there. So I recommend using HackerBot.net to find legitimate mods from legitimate providers. We will hook you up. So all you got to do is simply Google HackerBot or Game Hacks. Go to HackerBot.net and there you'll find our download cheats section where you'll find an in-depth guide on how to find legitimate mods from legitimate providers using our Hack Finder tool. So the way this works is you enter the name of your game. For example, PUBG Mobile. And then you enter the version of your game. So for example, 17. Point oh. And if necessary, enter Android or mod or whatever. So I'm just going to go for PUBG Mobile 17.0. Oh, oh, and there are mods. No recal, no spread, no grass. Oh, yes, that sounds better. And it's for version 17.0. Nice. So what are the upsides and downsides of using modded APKs instead of using Game Guardian? Well, <laughs> the downside is... You will need to update the mode every the mod every single time the game gets an update. So if Pupchi Mobile is updating from 17.0 to 17.1, I need to get a new mod. I need to update the mod, else it will stop working, which in many cases is not true for techniques used in Game Guardian, because a lot of those techniques translate through different versions and they still keep working. That's the downside. The upside is it's a lot easier to do. All you need to do is install the mod correctly. You know, place your OBBs in the system folder, uh, download the uh, the APK, install it correctly, uninstall the original game, you know, the whole thing. You just have to follow the guide correctly. What other options are there to replace um, Game Guardian? By the way, don't just Google uh, PUBG Mobile game hack or whatever, you'll find mostly scams and spam. Um, if you want to learn more about that and about the basics of game hacking, go to hackerbot.net, just simply Google Hackerbot or game hacks, go to learn cheating, and there you'll find all the basic information. I have made videos for you guys, so you don't have to, oh, I don't want to read, oh, articles are boring. Of course they are, I know, which is why I've made videos for you guys. You can simply watch the videos and learn the stuff. So go to Game Hack or go to f Fake Game Hacks to learn what kind of cheats are possible in what kinds of games, what kind of mods can actually exist and which ones are fake. Very important to do. Anyways, the other option that I can also recommend and that I personally use a lot more than mods myself is to use emulators in combination with cheat engine. So, good thing about that is you retain the usage of a memory editor, but you're using a different one. <laughs> and it's also kind of safer and it's faster, okay? So if you're, if you're using Game Guardian, scanning for certain values can take a whole lot of time. But if you're simply using an emulator instead and then connect cheat engine, and you don't connect cheat engine, by the way, to the emulator. That's usually not going to work with all the major emulators such as Nox or Bluestacks. It's not going to work. What you're going to want to do is connect Cheat Engine to physical memory, okay? That will scan all of your RAM and not just one process. That's simply how it works. It's a virtual machine. They kind of work differently. So this will still work. So you can now scan for values, especially in single player games that for me 
is personally a lot more convenient than using Game Guardian in many many instances and also if you have a pretty good PC it's faster than using um, Game Guardian as well depending on how much um, you know how much performance you allocate to your emulator or how powerful your phone or mobile device is so that is the second way I do it don't forget connect cheat engine not to your emulator process but to physical memory okay this will work for mo that's the way to do it for pretty much all the emulators out there all the major ones especially now that doesn't guarantee that you will find the exact value of your money sometimes it's encrypted sometimes there's other reasons why you can't find it but it works with a lot of games especially single player games all right then other apps you might be able to try okay game guardian and cheat engine are the major ones i would recommend using and of course mods that you can find on hackerbot.net not the fake ones you find on google the ones you find on hackerbot.net okay um other apps lucky patcher you might give it a try for single player games game hacker i mean it's basically game guardian um there's not many upsides to using game, game hacker instead of game guardian so uh, I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> also, um, there's no like a stealth option for a game hacker either. Whereas uh, Game Guardian comes with stealth, stealth options enabled for multiplayer games, so you don't get banned automatically. And um, yeah, that's basically it. You can try some of the patchers, you know, like uh, X mod games, uh, Lucky Patcher, all that. You can try uh, modding uh, data files using a file manager as well, but I mean that's that's not if you have a safe game for example in a single player game that might work, but yeah that's basically it. Um, so what I would recommend is using mods on HackerBot.net or you can go to uh, our software section HackerBot.net, go to Android, and uh, look at the alternatives there. Of course, of course uh, APKs through hackerbot.net sp game hacker freedom apk is another one of those patchers they're kind of hit and miss just like lucky patcher sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't usually only works on single player games so the best options are really mods and i know they can be a pain to install but let me be honest with you guys there is no easy way to cheat in android games it, except you want to use your credit card, okay? Uh, entering a credit card information is pretty easy. Um, all the actual cheating methods that don't involve you throwing endless amounts of money at the game, they're gonna take a little bit of work, yeah, right? Just a little bit of work, that's just how it is. Um, I wish it was just, you know, going to some kind of, um, you know, if you go to our learning section, uh, it was just pressing a generate button and you have unlimited gems, but um, sadly, that's not how cheating works. Um, it takes a slight, slight bit of effort. Um, that's just how it is. That's, oh, has it, that, that's as it has always been. I remember back in the day, I was downloading hex editors and modifying save games. Today, it's so much easier. There's websites that allow you to pretty much modify any save game. You don't have to decrypt anything. It's all done automatically. So cheating has gotten a lot easier over time. But the limits have increased as well because um, online games are a thing now and a lot of currencies are now processed on the game servers which has us um, you know, becoming more inventive. We have to use bots. By the way, if you're interested in bots, go to HackerBot.net, learn game cheating um, and go to game bots. They are also a very good way to cheat in a lot of games that have a static navigation. They can automatically farm games for you and they're pretty easy to set up again if you have an emulator and if you have a macro recorder on a computer great and the good thing about android is there are actual emulators out there as opposed to ios where there are no emulators available anyways guys i hope this helps i hope you guys give this video a like if you learned anything subscribe for more content and guys please re always remember if it sounds too good to be true if it's just one button and you get unlimited gems it's probably fake Anyways, guys, see you guys later. Game Jacker out.